Okay, today we are going to make the marbles for our value paper. So this is kind of what I've started. They have three more marbles to make. The first thing you're gonna do is, I've got these baskets of different size circles. So you're gonna get a large, a medium, and a small. And you can share these, you don't have to have, obviously you can just use one at a time. I want you to have two large circles. Just trace these with a pencil. Try to get them all on one piece of paper. And you're gonna have three medium circles. So these are your medium ones. And you're also gonna have three small circles. These are your small ones. Obviously, you have enough paper to fit everything. You don't have to get them that tight. But you do want to get everything on one paper. And then you're going to start adding your color. So you're going to have three different values. You're going to have white, a medium, and a dark. And sometimes you can have, like if you have blue, I have a light blue, a medium blue, and this is a really dark blue and then white will be my lightest value. So I'm gonna start with the white. Sometimes these oil pastels, they get some of the oil pastel on the top of them, and you can get a paper towel and just kind of wipe that off, okay? But the whites will have a lot of the other oil pastels on there. So if you wanna, whatever one you wanna start with, you can start with your big one, you can start with your medium one. I'm gonna start with this one. Use your white to make kind of a white oval and you want that oval to be in the same place on all of your marbles. And then you're going to use your light value for whatever color you're doing. You're gonna go around that white in an oval. Now this is important that you use a curved motion when you're coloring with your pastel. Then you're gonna take your finger and you're gonna blend those two together. So I'm gonna kind of blend on top of my white if I get outside of the lines a little bit for where my pencil line is, that's okay. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of this light value. Now eventually I'm not gonna be able to go all the way around in an oval, but I'm still keeping my pastel, oop, that one just broke. Keeping my pastel in a curved direction so that my marble looks curved. If I go straight back and forth, that is not gonna look like a curved marble. My next value is gonna be this sort of darker blue so I'm gonna go right next to my light blue in a curved motion, kind of filling that in. Now you notice how I can still see some of the white paper showing through. I really don't wanna see that white paper. The nice thing about oil pastels is you really get a very bright color when you use them and you can blend the colors together. So when I use my finger and I blend those together, I kind of fill in some of those white spots and I'm using my finger and I'm blending in a curved direction too. I'm not going straight across, I'm kind of blending that in. And sometimes if it, I don't have enough, I'll just use more of my oil pastel. I don't want to hurt my finger by blending too much. And if I want to take some of my light blue and even add that to my dark blue, I can go back and blend that in a little bit more. And that starts to look like they kind of gradually blend in. There's not like a straight line there. All right, my last color is this dark, dark blue. Well, it looks dark blue. That looks a little bit lighter blue. I wonder if there's a darker blue. This one looks like a little bit of a darker blue. Sometimes they don't look exactly like what you think they look like, but that's okay, because I can just take my darker blue, this is darker, go back over it, and then it usually will cover it up, and even make it look a little more interesting, because those two blues will blend together. I'm gonna go back the rest of my marble with this dark, dark blue. Fill in the rest of my circle. And then even a little bit of black at the very opposite side of where my white is. Then I'm gonna take my finger. And if you get outside of your pencil lines, that's good because we're gonna cut these out. You don't want any of the white paper showing. All right, now, Let's pretend that I accidentally got some blue on my white and I have said, oops, I want that to be white still. I'm gonna take my white, I'm gonna go back over it. 
to get that a bright white again because that's where the light hits the marble and I've got to use a different finger this finger is now all dirty so I've got to use a clean finger and blend that together it's not going to be as white as it was but that's pretty good now you're going to keep filling in your marbles I've got some of my marbles already filled in I've got three little ones left as you're working if you need to wipe off your fingers use your paper towel Kind of wipe off those fingers and those will be a little bit easier to blend some of those colors because I might not want my blue mixed with my orange or if I do a different marble I'm not going to want that mixed together. You do not want to go straight back and forth across. So this is an example of what not to do. I do not want to see you go like this. This is not filling in your marble accurately. You do want to go like this in a curved motion. That's why I have these little arrows pointed. Okay, and I start with my white in this top corner making kind of an oval. And then you go around that oval with your lightest value to start. So you get a good start to that curved shape of your marble and then using your fingers to blend.